Let's apply then this idea of using the diagonalization of a matrix to efficiently compute higher powers of a matrix. So going back to our previous example, where A was as follows, and we computed the diagonalization, as you'll recall, of A written uh, as such. Let's then compute, for instance, A to the 10th power. Okay, so again, in lieu of computing many, many uh, you know, a sequence of dot products to actually compute this. We can more efficiently write this in the following way. We have our P matrix, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, matrix of eigenvectors. Then I take that diagonal matrix, raise it to the 10th power, which entails just raising each component to the 10th power, so it's very efficient indeed. And then I lastly just multiply by the inverse of our original eigenvector matrix. So not too bad. Let's just go ahead and do this in two steps then. So I, I'm going to leave my P matrix alone for just a moment. Then if I go ahead and raise each of these components to the 10th power, 2 to the 10th, by the way, is 1,000, 24, 0, 0. Negative 1 to an even power results in 1. So here is a slightly simpler version of that factorization now. And again, much, much less steps involved arithmetically than raising directly a to the 10th power here. And now in the last line, if I simply multiply these three two by two matrices together, which is certainly not that uh, difficult a thing to do, we could even do it by hand, but that result gives us the following matrix. When I raise a to, again, a very large power, that's when we really hit home this idea of saving many, many, really millions or even billions of arithmetic steps. So let's see that now. So in a more extreme case, if I wanted to compute a raised to the 10 to the 6th power, in other words, a to the millionth power, I can obviate the need to directly do those millions and millions of computations involving the dot product by first diagonalizing and then going ahead and raising my diagonal matrix to that appropriate power and appending that uh, new matrix by p and p inverse on the either end. Negative 1 to an even power is just going to be positive 1. So really I just need to ask the computer what's 2 raised to the 10 to the 6 or to the millionth power. Certainly a computer um, can do that with uh, not too much problem. And then I'm going to multiply by P and P inverse on the left and the right. So we've saved many, many sort of computational steps. We've gone from literally millions of arithmetic computations to just a handful on the right hand side. And then we can efficiently compute in that way higher powers of a matrix using this diagonal form.